roof over. Oh, hey, you can sit with us. Hey, you guys, and welcome back to another episode of Skin Society. Today, what we're going to be talking about is back bar. What yeah. things that you should be ordering, things that you absolutely need, and things that you can really do without. And also, we'll give you a few different brands that we love. That yeah. we, um, and they also have very low minimum order quantities to uh, get you started, especially if you're a new SD. Uh, who do go first? Maria, <laughs> what's one of your uh, favorite back, um, must-have back bar products? Must-have? Must-have. Okay, so must have. I will say, Glymed's oxygen deep pore cleanser. Oh, Bingo, yes. mine too. Hydrating. Hydrating mask yep. is a must. Chocolate mask. Um, chocolate mask. Wait, wait. I said one. But one favorite, yeah, like one. I use on all my clients. Like I, basically all of my clients. Like everybody gets this and they know it. It's the oxygen deep pore cleansing mask that just does something to the skin. You know, like yeah, yep. Like it oxygenates it. It makes it like easier for extractions. It just I love it. What about you, Krista? If I had to pick one thing from Lyman, your back, no, just anywhere, back anywhere, bar. just back bar, one back bar product that you is a must have for you. Shit, I love them all. I know, it's hard. That's it's how she's hard. Like, uh. yeah. If I had to use one Wait, item, I, yeah, what's it? What? One item mm -hmm. from my back bar that I would use, you know, the Lyman like, oxygen booster powder. Yeah, Ooh, oh, could you love add that. To any yeah, because it's an additive, so I get the cocktail. It's anything. I like that. If I can use that, if I did, I couldn't pick anything else, I would use the oxygen booster I like additive. That. I'm glad right. that. Yeah, I think we're all on the same page because mine was definitely the oxygen, uh, deeper oxygen yeah. cleanser. Yeah. Because like the powder, you can mix it with any and everything. Yeah, and I feel like no matter, I don't care if it's a teen, a a a, a fifty year old. When they come in, fresh, when I use that mask so much. I yeah. go through so much of it with new clients because I use it. It's a part of my introduction facial yes. care because it's so safe for everybody and it just gives such great, great. results. It does. And it's cost effective. It's very I think the bottle is like what? For a big bag, one eighty or something. For a big, but that thing yeah. lasts me like probably. Like four I had months. the same one that you gave me, like literally. Really? Yes. I, so I used to use it wrong. I yes. used to um pump it and then apply it to the skin, but. Afterwards, I figured out through Glymed that you're supposed to fluff it. Oh. So I don't use as much now. I literally barely Stop almost use the pump, me. right? Yeah. So I'm in your me. bowl. I'm about to put y'all on. You got to put y'all on. You got to put y'all on. So I was using it wrong, right? You know how, like, because it's pretty thick. Yeah. Because yeah, I use it at home, too. And maybe, like, two pumps can do my whole face and neck, and it'll get pretty bubbly. Okay. Yeah. Um. So when I was using my back bar, I would use, like, maybe two pumps of the put back inside bar. Put the dish. Okay. And dish, and then mix it into the skin. But then I started to realize that's too much product. You're supposed to whip it anyway. So I literally oh. use one pump or maybe half, depending on the person, whip it in the bowl. And then once it's already fluffy, then you apply it to the skin. Oh, you still wow. get the same results? But the fluff is bigger so than big. when you're just applying it onto so, the skin. Oh, right. wow. So wait. I was um their their Glymed University page. So I watched, I forget the lady name, but she's a white woman. She's so sweet. She's so nice. She always makes, she always does a lot of the Sarah. cocktails. Yes. Yeah, Sarah. Yeah, maybe. Uh, I don't, I don't know her, her name. But the yeah, okay. yeah, yeah, she's yeah. So she um she basically said like, okay, so the the fluff depends on how much you put. So if you want a really really big cloud, you just put more product. But at the time, she never taught that you're supposed to. I literally only time I mix it in the black, like, I'll put it in a bowl and then I like just rub it right on your skin and it's still like a cream yeah uh, um a cleanser texture and then it starts to foam. But oh. I felt like my clients were like, oh, I can feel the oxygen kicking in. Like you know, it's a I never yeah, yeah it's I like never I never fluffed it to like create the oxygen like the bubbles yep. first so yeah. i fluff it and then i apply it to the skin and then i'll literally like kind of swipe the brush to get yeah. all the excess off yeah and, and then i'll massage it into the skin but you know but I, you get wow. such a nice flow i used to use it for my acne clients so before i got face reality my acne protocol will be oxygen mm -hmm. deep pore oxygen mask use the additive use your oxygen regenerative pill mm -hmm. as my acne treatment i love that peel. Uh, yeah. i love that peel. me too uh, then i will use the salicylic five Percent, two percent, the two percent right. from them, mm -hmm. and then I will go and with the acne sofa mask. That's why I love Glide Mask. Love yeah. acne because sofa mask. I would do the acne sofa mask, and then I would do CBD, and then I would finish it off with the comfort cream before I had face reality. So when I love Glide, like when I Same. say like you can pull different things from them and like literally give your client the ultimate facial, the ultimate facial. I love I, them so much. I think it's safe to say that if you're a new esthetician or just somebody yeah. who, not even a new esthetician, but you're really just starting to really get into skin. Maybe you were doing lashes or maybe you were doing brows or something like that. Glymed is 100%. They have my vote as far as back bar. Like, yeah. I would start with Glymed. They have no minimum order and they have everything. Before I was a face reality expert, 
expert, um, acne expert, I was clearing acne with, with the Glide Mat. Yeah. Yes. I will say, I think their my retail biggest tip, expensive. their retail is expensive. Yeah. yeah. That's why I said, just back bar. So, yeah. yeah. script will be a better option for um, retail, but I will say that even for me in the beginning, where I messed up at was buying back bar sizes. Oh, oh yeah, you, yeah. Can do the, you can do the retail size. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. Yeah. expires, so if you're a new SD, you're trying it out, and don't buy everything on... Like all of their products, right? Yeah. Like you know, I did that. I spent. So I did much too. Money. I yeah. still have products in my bag. Girl, I just showed you that. Yeah. You know, I had I maybe used once in a while, but not as often as I thought. Yeah. Okay. So my suggestion would be to go through the protocol, see which ones you think would benefit your clients the most, and then from there picking the products that Makes need sense. for those protocols. Yeah. But you don't have to buy bag bar. Like no. buy retail sizes yeah. mm-hmm. until you build your clientele, exactly. and then get back I would bar. say like with Glide Met, buy their cleanser bag bar. Buy their skin recovery mist back bar. Buy the oxygen mask back bar. But the little face mask that you add, do the retail, do the retail, do the retail yeah. ones like the full leg, the uh, lemon cell clarifier. Do because the, the lemon cell clarifier. If you're doing one pump per client, it lasts you forever. It lasts you forever. forever. Don't go full throttle and try to buy everything back bar because you yeah. have this thing like, oh, I want a cute back bar. Or I want a like a banging back bar. Yeah. Pick and choose with essential. Sure for you. I feel like yeah. essential products that you need is a good cleanser. Yeah. Uh, um, uh, vitamin C. I yeah. feel like a, a exfoliate. I feel like you need a good moisturizer. Yeah. I feel like they can use, give me something else. I'm drawing a blank. Um, sunscreen. Sunscreen. <laughs> yeah. How about that. Sunscreen. A hydrating mask. And a hydrating mask. That's yeah. like a, for you start and now you like, hey, I don't have one client, but I need something to do. You need a product that you can use on almost anybody. That's Glide Mask um, Ultra Hydrating Enzyme Mask. I love that one. That and I like it. the anti aging one too. This, yeah. But you can't like use that on, on everybody. Yeah. I'm talking about from like a fix oh. to like, so something that they can use. If they tell me, yeah. like, if you want to tell somebody, like, Hey, you have no clients, and you want something that you can use on somebody that's ten, all the way up to somebody that's sixty. The answer, think, the ultra hydrating, the ultra one. hydrating, the, the oxygen, sulfur mask, the yeah. sulfur mask, and then the. Uh, I like the additive too. The yeah. Powder. yeah, the powder. I was like the powder. But you know what? Also, I love the protein mask, the protein facelift. Oh, oh yeah, oh, that was the CBD booster. booster. Yeah, that one is the most. That's good. It reminds me of like a baby DMK. Glymed had um a protocol of the month. I think it was last year, and it was. Chocolate Rescue Mask, uh-huh. their Pumpkin Enzyme, and the Super Protein Lift Powder. Oh, oh my God. Chef's really? Kiss. Really? Like, literally, yeah. Chef's Kiss. Exfoliating, hydrating, brightening. You said it was the... Go over it again? It was the... the uh, Chocolate Rescue, Rescue Mask. Chocolate Rescue Mask. The Super Protein Lift Powder, yep. uh-huh. and the Pumpkin Enzyme. Yes. As a cocktail. To exfoliate, yep. yep. And just put it on. Mm-hmm. Girl. And that's the facial. That's, that's it. It it's was good. It's a good so one. So bomb. I'm gonna try. I have all of them. That's why I'm like, wait, go through it again. You know what? I actually had I meant to put this on our um thing. Um, because I know we talked about signing up for companies and them helping you. Glymat does a really good job at even sending content out. Like yes. I don't if you guys sign up with Glymed, they even send you like the protocol of the month. Mm-hmm. They send you captions, like literally yeah. captions of what to put on your. I think Glymet is pictures. a good program. I love Glymet. They're they're a good company to start with. If you're just becoming yeah, an esthetician. I feel like that's it. Like well, in skin script because I also started out with November's skin toolkit, right? And in this toolkit, they tell you they send How to you use images. The yeah. Okay, images to post. How to use it, create, um, how to create, you know, uh, presence on social media. And they even give you the the freaking yeah. captions. And you know, I like the that post. they have the regenerative store, too, for clients. Like, the clients can go in there and buy. And buy. That's, That's another thing. thing. I know we kind of talked on, I feel like we talked about back bar before. A little, a little bit, bit. A, little a little bit, bit. Yeah. a little bit. And I think I think that's a great way to start with, like, if you're going to start with Glymat as your back bar and you want to retail it, don't buy it here. Have your clients sign up and buy it. You still get commission from those sales, but you're not having to spend that money up front hoping that people purchase it. Yeah, when it comes to Glad Man, yeah. because it's so expensive, I tell people, like, oh, no, you got to pay for it yeah. up front because yeah. I'm not going to be sitting around with $100. Yeah. No, yeah, they can just it. Yeah. Yeah. And then maybe you can give them, like, a few of those products. But I think that skin script, I've never personally used skin script retail. I use their back bar, and I love their stuff. But I I trust anything that come out of these two's mouths. So they say that their retail, then go for the, re- use that as your retail. And I feel like that's yeah. all you need to start. The I don't reason like why anybody else. I ever even went with skin script was because Skin Script was one of the first companies that I actually came across that tailored to all skin types. They had yeah. diversity. Even yes. when it came to their manuals for me, even when it came to their protocols, it says, like, if you have a client that has fits, here's a special protocol yep. to get rid of... Uh, they do well with their I'm marketing, too, though. They do do well with their yeah. marketing, too. I feel like I got a lot of emails they, from them. They, 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 really, do. they yeah. really targeted a lot of, like, 
people who look like me skin types and skin um issues like remember when the client that you had and i was like oh wait use this one from skin script when yep. you have the pit scar it's very regular but the thing about skin script is consistency yeah it's like okay you have to be consistent and using their products to see the result you can't just use it one month and be like okay I'm, i don't like it right and then discard it and like, i'm gonna, gonna jump to something else every skincare line whether you're an esthetician or whether you are a client you have to be consistent in what yeah, you're providing absolutely. to the client and if you keep switching up everything it's like okay no wonder why they're not getting results right i think that that's like the best thing to start off with to be honest because everything it's else affordable. is pricey yeah skin scoop is very very affordable and then you know what's so crazy when i first started i didn't offer retail you can't buy anything here from me. Oh, I just listen! Just, if you're an esthetician, you need to sell. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> like, when I first started, to. like, I, cause I, cause I didn't know where, like, I didn't. I'm like, okay, I gotta try all of these products. So I started yeah. off with the Glymed link, and then I was do like, I just was like. Telling people, like, okay, yeah, I'm, I'm going to look into it for you. And then I would look into products, like, okay, I heard this is a really good line. I heard yeah. this. But I didn't offer a bunch of it here. It took me probably, like, six months after opening and starting yeah. to say, okay, it's time to lock down and get me some back, I mean, some uh, retail. retail. because But I was like, it's so many things to try. And then my rule of thumb is I have to try even the back bar on my skin before yeah. I put it on somebody yeah. else's. So you can imagine what my skin was going through. I'm like, I can't do retail right now. That was a thing. So, yeah. like, I think just take from what we're telling you as some tr as trusted estheticians and people have good faith in us. The only thing I would not order, though, if I was a new SD and I was starting to sell retail was that glycolic cleanser from Skinscript. It's very, very harsh. <laughs> it will, like, literally send your clients through the fucking It's 17% glycolic. So it's Sheesh. very... And it will dry their skin out really, really bad. But... Skinscript is really good at building protocols. Yes. They have really good, like, if you get their manual, their training manual, it'll tell you if your client's skin is oily, if your client's skin is dry. It has kits like that, that you can buy. Yeah. But then also, they have sample sizes they provide you. But I that's love the one samples. thing I like about Skinscript is that they have, they send you a sample forever. If you yep. order four cleansers, they're going to send you four, four samples. samples. That's what I don't like about Glymed. They don't send no samples. And Glymed they're expensive. Samples, that's right. Right. Yeah, they're Glymed's expensive. products are very expensive. And then they don't send samples, but then they have samples, but you have to buy the sample. If it's a sample, it's supposed to be free. I think aside from like actual products, like back bar products, I know for me, I made a, mis I made a lot of mistakes into buying like equipment. Right? Like, yeah. I think I mentioned this before in a podcast where, like, I had several steamers. Well, you yeah, know, I first you started with, like, a 10 and one machine because I thought I needed everything. Yeah. You know, I needed the UV sterilizer and the high frequency and the galvanic, which, you know, after I started, it was like, I don't, oh, even, I don't even use steam anymore. Yeah. Right? Um, so things do change. Don't focus on modalities. Um, Carolyn, while I was in school, she made it a point, like, she would tell us all the time, like, if you can't treat with your just hands. your hands, you yeah. There's yeah. yeah. Adding a machine is not gonna change or make or break your, your results yeah. Yeah. or your practice, right? Yeah. Like, like the same thing with extractions. Like a lot of people don't know how to properly perform an extraction. That's crazy. And I get that schools don't really dive into it, but I tell people all the time: if you're a new esthetician, if you can't take a strawberry, if practice. you can't take every seed out that strawberry without breaking that strawberry down, you're not ready to do extraction. Nope. You right. have to practice every single day because you can really hurt somebody with a comedone yeah and if you're not doing it right you're a damn my skin you will yeah, mark yeah, them you up. will create a, a hyperpigmentation uh, well. or a, a, a tropic scarring yep. yeah so i learned how to do a lot of things with just my hands because we didn't have fancy that's one machines. thing they i think it's because we yeah. went to Aveda schools too they taught us a lot everything i feel like we learned in school was like with our hands like even like with the q-tips and extractions yeah, yeah. And we didn't have any like extraction tools or anything like that like they didn't teach us any of that everything and not shade to any like modalities or anything like i there's machines that i want you yeah know. i'm um, obsessed with my machines yeah i think that's not a good place it's, to start. it's definitely not a good yeah. place to yeah. start um you should just Focus on basics. I, I think that's why I like skin script too, because it's so simple and face reality. Yeah. yeah. So simple, so straight to the point. Um, Glad Mad I love because we can get a little yeah. fun with it yeah. and we become little chemists. Um, but it just comes down to ingredients too. Like the more you know ingredients, doesn't matter what line you're using. Yeah. yeah. Yep. It comes you down to understand ingredient. what you're using. That's the most important factor. Like you can't just say, well, I, I want this line because everyone else is using it. But yeah. if your fits don't match the line, why do you have the line to begin with? Because your fits make a difference. If your clientele is 90%, four or five or six, why are you using something that's not even able to be processed on their skin? It doesn't make sense to me. Stop right. focusing on these big 
popular brands. Like it's yeah. kind of like, oh, I want the Chanel or skincare, but your client can't take that. We need the Kmart sometimes. Like yeah. you can't like, give them. Started from the bottom. Yeah. There's nothing wrong with Kmart. Yeah, right. there's nothing wrong with Kmart. But if Kmart's all is Kmart can, still around? No, I don't know. <laughs> but but there is nothing wrong with Kmart. <laughs> <laughs> if Kmart is all you can use on somebody that looks like oh, me, goodness. then I have to use it. I have no other yeah. choice. Like so, stop trying to say like, oh, I want this brand because Kim Kardashian uses this brand, and it's just like. But who are your clients? Are your clients Kim Kardashian? Right. No. Right. How about that? I think um, I think that's like a big thing too. People try to just keep up with the hype. Yeah. I feel like don't keep up with the hype. If you the hype are, will cost you. Yeah, the hype will cost you. <laughs> well, a lot. You know, the penny. May I cost you like, little. May <laughs> cost you a lot. <laughs> but it's going to cost you. I think um, uh, also like if you can't face reality, is there... No, so theirs is like five hundred, right? But no, you get it in product. You get it in product. Yeah, I don't think no more. You don't get it in product. Oh, I no think more. it's more. You get a oh, discount you get on a discount that. On a product. You, don't get, yeah. you don't get it in product. No so more. it's like five hundred dollars to become an acne expert. Six hundred. Yeah, I you looked it up. up. Yeah, Damn. six. And I think the initial. So your initial investment with face reality now is going to cost you about seventeen hundred dollars because the, the the full line is a thousand, and then the products is here's the thing the though. Is Are you serious? This is what it comes down to. I be giving people my stuff. Like, huh? Take it. I don't care. It's already paid for. Yep. But that ain't gonna My back part, I did that with Facebook. But reality. I'd rather you have the training for free and get the products. If I can save somebody a dollar somewhere. Actually, face reality is cool. If yeah. you have employees, your employees can yeah, get certified can, through yeah, you yeah. without yeah. them paying. Yeah. Oh, yeah, it's free. That's how DMK is. Yeah. Yeah, so I'll be passing that little manual along. Yo, you an Etsy? You wanna use face reality? Huh, here's my manual. But they can't get the products. You gotta order the product. You I mean you can go online and sign up for a professional account. Cause I always had a but you can't buy the products product. until you're an acting specialist. specialist. Yeah. yeah, so they them getting a the problem for you, they only cheating themselves. They they gonna study so they can just advance through the test. You know yeah, what I'm saying? I mean, yeah, but, um, not the product, the protocol. But I I think they face well when I started, it was a good place to start. It was only five hundred dollars. Yeah, and you at I think when I first heard it was like you get that whole five hundred went to product. But when I signed up, I had to fight tooth and nail for it because it was only half of it went to product. Oh, oh no! When no. I signed up, all of it. Yeah, when we signed the, up, yeah, all of it went, went to product. product. Yeah, when. You signed up. At, you just recently signed up. No, I always did it. I just never took the. We uh, never finished the test. test. We signed up all together. Oh, oh, it took me oh, like a year. Oh, I was like, like, girl, come on, like we need to get this done. I was like, that's I don't probably like doing why. This stuff. So yeah, they, already had, they had to honor that old thing. Yeah. yeah, I got. I was lucky enough because I called them like, nah, like, because I, I made the account like y'all, but I probably did it two months later, and it was like, oh no, it changed. I said no because I got the welcome email that says so I had to show it. Oh, could you send me that email? That must be an error. I'm like, no, it's not an error. No, when we signed up, we just pussy foot and like we just was like i don't feel like doing this like because right. it's it gets redundant like you got to keep taking all these tests oh yeah that's why when i talk i was like yeah. let's just do it you was like i've been having this damn account i never did it yeah, yeah. i was like yeah. i don't feel like doing it like yeah. it takes so much out of your time but it was a, it. that's that was a good investment for me and at Absolutely. the time it was 500 dollars. i think that if y'all had i don't know you said it might be 1700 it's about because when i look for somebody else the other day it's about seven because you get the training is six and then the the, the initial starter kit of product the bundle like, but you know, what i learned is though you don't have to get their bundle well you i can mean, pick you and choose because it comes with you don't know who's going to walk through that door right but here's That's the right. thing i de- i i invested in the bundle and i found that there's a lot that i don't use i was giving it away like you like yeah my glycolic serums yeah don't use any of them. Yeah, look, that's the only thing that don't sell. I like the vitamin A serum. I love the vitamin, the vitamin A. But for home, I don't use it in my back bar. Yeah. yeah. You know? Um, what else? There's salicylic acid serum I do use, especially for the, the rosacea acne med, clients. I really good. The acne med. But you know what? I still have acne med from Glymed that I use in my back bar. Oh. And I just stick to that. I don't even, oh. you know, add So I, to I was it. saying for, for retail, like, if you if this is a good place to start for retail for clients and then also i think it's about them knowing their audience too like yeah knowing your demographic like if you if you don't think you're going to have a bunch of acne clients then maybe not start with face reality because it's strictly for acne yeah but you know also what I'm you could start with face reality for your acne clients but then if you're not big on their retail you can they can use something else for their retail they don't have to use face reality for retail because what do you but, do when acne is clear that's what i'm no, but I'm, no. I can tell you, continue because acne is not it's control, it's I'm, not cure. Exactly, but for my clients, the girl that um that had all the comedone, she doesn't use face reality retail. She just comes in for her treatments and she sticks with okay. the same. I do have clients who yeah. are on skin scripts and yeah, get face reality, reality treatments. treatments. Yeah, she just comes yeah. in faithfully for her face reality so treatments. I- and then sticks to her skin script for a hunger. She doesn't want to switch at all. She's like, I like this. I like the way it feels. And she does. she's afraid to put something different on her face. Yeah, I think the biggest key or the biggest takeaway is basically to go for companies that are going to educate you. Yeah, um, continuously. Give you the support that yep. you need. Um, and aren't 
super expensive, right? Like there's companies that minimum orders are like three thousand, five thousand, five thousand. Like yeah. you know, when you're a solo SC and you're just starting, that's a big that's a big commitment. That's a huge yeah. commitment. I think. And I don't even know if I like you like that. Okay. <laughs> like, <just> like, <laughs> that much money. Yeah. Um so when you're looking into companies, make sure that you're asking those questions. Um, Lyra Clinical is one that I'm actually really interested in. I just signed up for a webinar for them. Oh, for like cool. a product. They be at the trade thing. shows. But you know, that's a good time to meet people. Like, yes. I always have this big thing. If you're interested in a company, I was going to fly to Florida for that carbon mm-hmm. uh, people. If you're interested in a company and you're confused of where to start, go to the trade shows. Right. That's the way you get, to get the get the product even before you having to sign up for commitment because a lot of them do sell their product. Right there on hand. And, and right they give stuff away. I and went to the trade shows for the samples. Because they be full size. I'll take one. I'll take one. The only one. person that you won't catch at the trade show with product on hand is Estimax. Yeah. But, um, you know, they had, they was at the New York show. They had all but these they don't sell them. They don't sell the product there. You, they give you, you a order quote, form. Yeah, you gotta go it. online. Order and then it. let's talk about Estimax, right? Because when I first started, yeah, I had a dumb as like $25 bar. a jar when yeah. I first started. Yeah. It's $45 a jar now. You, y'all can kidding me. Remember, I used to, no, get, yeah, I used to get like, like 10 of them. Them. I'm like, yo, I'm taking orders. My girl Chris about to hook yes, us up. Yes, I used she, to get 10 masks yeah. plus the free two, two or whatever. I don't like remember the last time I bought a mask over there. I, I had, had so I many been products bought I was ordering in a while. Yeah. But here's the thing. I, 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 y'all know I, I like hate SMX. I feel like it comes I love. Y'all know I hate it. I hate SMX. I don't think it's corrective. No, it's not corrective. It doesn't do nothing. I don't feel like they do. I feel like it could help with hydration because then you're really the problem. It comes in the skin. So I That's feel like SMS is good for after you do a chemical pill, after you do a microneedling, after you do some type of advanced treatment. treatment. Yeah. But I hate estimates. I don't think I, I would put it over top of a chemical pill. I do. I do it all the time. And it, the really? lavender one is really good uh, uh, if they're uh, in flame or You mean burning. like a um, self-neutralizing pill? Yeah, or yeah, like, yeah. Yeah, oh, okay, okay, yeah. Afterwards. Yeah, 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 afterwards. I'm thinking about but the shit I, we just went through. Yeah. Like, oh, <laughs> the hype of SBS people and I tried to break away from it so many times like okay I'm not ordering I'm not doing it but people will come in and be like oh I really wanted the mask and I'll be like yeah they oh, like it it's the pampering I it's don't ever get that though I don't get people like, oh, telling me they want really? Really? really but I do love it but I don't charge for, for it maybe I should start thing. charging for it and see if they still like it I'm cracking up. Because I pay too much for it. Like, no, I do charge for it. Yeah, I charge for it. Oh, no, I don't dollars. charge for it. You charge how much? $25. Oh, oh I charge oh, $30. Oh, sorry. It's $25. My add-on is 30 for yeah. a jelly mask. Oh, so oh. one is so messy. You got to... It, it takes, takes time. time to dry. That's yeah. the biggest thing. Yeah, that's time. what I charge for at the time. Yeah. Yeah, I never charge for it. So and then you're supposed to leave it on for like 15 minutes. Like, I don't want to leave it on for five minutes and rip it off. So it's you're killing into the time. Oh, another thing with jelly masks that a lot of people do, and I still see them doing it, and I actually had a fellow esthetician. I forget who it was. It's not someone from around the area, jump in my DM and kind of like um, educate me on it. Yeah. People put jelly masks on and then put LED on top. Why? Not, all, not all the jelly masks but are they, made. But they make yeah. a special LED one, yeah, but clear, that shit right. is trash. So if you don't, if, if you have a colored one or something, or like, like for example, the charcoal one, if you put that black one on and you put LED on top, it's not doing, doing anything. anything. Yeah, like, but it. they make a specific LED one. Yeah, they make an LED one. It's, it's transparent. And I never yeah. knew that, you know? Oh, I never really? knew. Like, they, I'm talking about when oh, you first okay, started okay, carrying okay, okay. SD Max, you know? Um, before they came out with all these fun, yeah, yeah. different I just ones. like them because they smell good. Like, but other than that, I don't think they do anything to the skin. Because after I take it, it off, I, I got to apply more product yeah. to the face. Do I have to do that? I'm trying to think. Sometimes. I, I, like usually don't. The I think it depends on the client's skin. If somebody has like really, really dry and their skin is just drinking it like water, then yeah. I usually tone, yeah. fulvic and living cell cocktail. And then I call moisturizer let it, afterwards. Yeah, like let it kind of penetrate jelly mask. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Take it off, LED, and then finish my products on top. Okay. Yeah. I think that it's a good thing to have, may, not a bunch, but maybe it's a, a good door two opener for back bar because yeah. for a new client, somebody who's never had a facial have having, having that experience, like, oh my gosh, what's this thing on me? Like, as long as they're not claustrophobic, they won't panic. I think it's a good option to have, but don't go crazy spending a bunch of money. I wouldn't spend more than, yeah. I wouldn't spend more than like, and it was 450 for what, 10? No, for 10. It used to be 250 for 10. Yeah. Or 225 no. or something they like lost, that. It just, it, just, it just lost my vote. That's too high. For you can, uh, but the trade shows, no, they have the trade shows, they have sales. Yeah. yeah. Sorry, the gag is this. This is the gag. This is the real tea. Y'all ready? Get y'all pens and pencils out. <laughs> y'all can go on to Alibaba or AliExpress and get <laughs> no, jelly masks. Don't, don't, don't say that. It's no, listen, Alibaba. listen, that's where you think they stuff come from. 
Where do you think they still come from? Yeah. But if something happens, Sheena. I know I can blame Essie Max. You don't know no, you no, want to blame no, 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 Ali no. Baba. I, I didn't finish. So you, you, well, they're real vendors. Like China, like most of the stuff comes from China. Yeah. They're real oh, vendors. No. You can create your own. You can <laughs> create like no, no, listen. You, I'm telling you, you can create your own fucking Essie Max. So it's just a jelly mix. All of this yeah. is uh like a the, powder. The jelly powder. You order one sample of that. Try it on yourself. Try it on your sisters. If it don't break you out, which it won't, because SC Max it comes from China. Guess what? It China. Yeah, yeah, it comes. They all you should see with the they can't little red little cute <laughs> pink jumpers on. Not the whole thing. And yeah. the, like when but you get the guy. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. Right. Listen, they had their little. Listen to me. They had their pink <laughs> jumpsuits on, Krista. It was I a bunch of Chinese that. women. I understand with that. With pink jumpsuits on. Order from Alibaba. It's like order from Amazon. No, it's not. Like it's amazing. No, you're thinking about AliExpress. Who's what's the difference? <laughs> AliExpress, you can get AliExpress, you can get fucking anything. You can get it's the it's the most bullshit. It's like it's bullshit. Is it like the Shein? No. I think the point Mia's trying to make is that a lot of these companies have vendors and they go and they get these things from China and yeah. other countries yeah. and just slap their logo on it. So what she's yeah, trying to say is if you don't want to take up the cost of SC Max, do yeah. your research. For $4.50, you can find get, a vendor oh, yeah, that's safe. Yeah. And then, and then you do you re- read your reviews? Because a lot of these companies are going, I'm trying to tell you, a lot of this stuff, I see it so much. I'm like, yo, this is the same shit. Yeah, well, they all oh, well, well, Casimir will be like, we're the original Estimax. You ever been to the trade shows? Oh, and yes. Casimir, the like, people that Casimir. But they are kind of the original. They are the original yeah. one, but theirs is more like rubber. Yeah. Like, it's like a rubber mat on your face. You. I'm going I'm to I'm go oh, over there. Oh, you know who I love that I found at the trade shows? Who? There's a brand called Martini Beauty. Oh, I, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I they, I they have jelly masks, too. I wasn't a super fan of their jelly masks, but they're sheet masks. I love sheet masks. Now, sheet masks Just, is, un, is the most slept on. Yeah, that's another one this morning. Yeah. <laughs> I love sheet masks. So if you're like a new, what's your favorite brand for sheet masks? Um, shit, they're at the trade shows. Hold on, they're a Korean skincare brand. I'm a link the name. The her- All right, which go you ahead. Go um, who'd you use this morning? I Vegas use oh Dr. Jart. Dr. Jart. I love Dr. Jart. I love the Dr. Jart. Yeah. Um, you can actually find them at Marshalls. For cheaper, um, obviously the same Dr. Jart brand. Yes, yes I like Dr. their Chiral Mask, Dr. Jart. Yep, the car and even their regular Sheena yeah. are super like hydrating. But this morning I did Innis Free, which okay. is a Korean brand. Yeah, they're also very cheap. Found them at Marshalls as well. Okay, um, it was a Jensen mask. Okay, so it's like for hydrating, almost yeah. has like a milk honey yeah. kind of texture and, and feel. Yeah, but I feel like the but cost, like, the cost with sheet masks, you're save more money. Absolutely, by buying sheet masks. and they're I also think, coming. You and the trade the show, you thing. get like two hundred sheet masks for like fifty bucks. So Martini, they have sheet masks, but they also have like how the Cairo ones are, like that rubber yeah. kind of pressure. And while we were at the trade shows. I had used them before, and they are a little bit more pricey, like the the ones that have like the rubber, not just regular sheet masks. Yeah, because it's not absorbent, so the product. Only yeah, so it. when I was at the trade shows, um, they are a little bit more expensive, but they were like, "Oh, this is great because when your client's done, you can actually take because there's so much product inside the packaging. Yeah, that like you can take it off, put it in the packaging, and send it home with them because oh, at the end of the day, it's their it's stuff, right? Yeah. Yeah. And I thought that was such like that sold me. I was like, you know what? I would love that because my clients would love that. Yeah. Now you feel like you're paying for a facial, and then you still have something to take home. Oh, and yeah. still pamper yourself, you yeah, know. I so they that. are good. Okay, I like them. All right, that's. I think that was cool. I think so what do you use for back bar? You use face reality. I use face reality, Glide, yeah. Hydrinity. Um, I started using skin betters like serums and stuff like the close okay. out, and I use skin scripts. Yeah, skin scripts. and uh, well, I guess one more. Thing okay, DMK, DMK Pro Cell. Pro Cell. Face real. I mean, a uh, hydrofacial. Okay. And a what do you use? Like, yeah. Two Back bar, Glide Med, I have. I have a Pro Cell. I have the, uh, what is it called? Marilas. Oh, um, yeah. Pen. I use Marilas. I use their serums. Okay. Um, also from Microneedling. But mainly my back bar is. 90% glad mad. Face reality, too. Face reality. Face reality. Pro Cell. Stri- Strictly for acne. Face reality. But Bio repeal. Bio Sorry. repeal. <laughs> um, I have, but you I do use the, the Hydra Lift. Yeah. The, but yeah. my main back bar is 90% glad mad. Yeah. Like, that's who I see myself ordering with. I love that. Same. Nice and I had to change my pricing because of it. Um, I was charging like is expensive. dirt cheap for a basic facial. And I, my intentions were to do a basic facial with skin script. Yeah. But what will happen is a lot of the times clients will come in and they will need more than skin script, you yeah. know? And I will find myself to using Glymed and charging a basic facial and it was the math wasn't math. Yeah. Yeah. So I had to change it. 
I was using skin script in the beginning, but them enzymes, I, I, every enzyme is hit and miss with me. Like that lemon zest one, it'll burn. The enough. cranberry one. Okay, will so burn. let's talk about some of your favorite enzymes from skin script. Oh, my new one, that elderberry one. Bitch. <laughs> Bitch. I like the elderberry mask. I like, I like the that. elderberry enzyme. That blue aqua one. I love yeah, that one so for me. I think they're getting a so lot be better with their enzymes, but the older, the blueberry one, all, all those are too hard. I like the blueberry one. I've been. I don't use it on its own anymore. You know what that blueberry is really good for? A tropic scar. Mm -hmm. Ice pick scar. So I mix it with the goji. Scar. Blueberry. Really? But here's the thing with the portable. The blueberry, the, their blueberry mask you're talking about? Yeah. The blueberry enzyme. Mm -hmm. to treat oh, the blueberry it, enzyme. Yeah, yeah, to yeah. Treat, that shit's strong. It is. But to treat it effectively, they will have to use their retinol scrub three nights a week. They will have to come in every two weeks for a facial with the blueberry scrub. And in about four to six months, their tropic scar will wow. be starting to fade. Yeah, it'll be gone. Like literally, I have done it on somebody. You're resurfacing. And, yeah, you're because you're resurfacing. You're over processing and resurfacing the sin. So as you're tearing down collagen, it's building new collagen. Right. Skin script, like when you read their manual, they literally are the skin, goat. Skin script is the shit. They yeah. literally are the goat when it comes to like even fits, fixing fits four, five, and six. Yeah, it's just that Glide Med pr provides so a range of products that I can yeah. mix and match. Skin scrub, it's not really a mix and match. It's very like, linear. Yeah, it's very linear. You have blueberry enzyme, you got goji berry mask. It, you, it gets repetitive, it gets redundant, yeah. but when I need it, I pull it out and I will use it. I think my favorite enzyme, that was, you, you, you was our favorite from them. I think mine is the um, coconut, and, no, no, no. The papaya Peach and mango. The Wait, peach raspberry. Peach raspberry. Peach raspberry. raspberry. Yeah. Peach raspberry. Because it does it's smell lovely. They yeah. be like, oh my gosh. Like, I always do yeah. their gentle ones. I, I stop. I used to always order the blueberry one. Yeah. But people were getting flaking from it. And people but were you like, know oh, how to cut it? Use your oh, oxygen mask. Oh, by, yeah, that too. Script. I mean, by Glymet. Use your oxygen, deep pore oxygen mask. To cut the blueberry. To, to cut whatever enzyme. Because okay. they tell you the tingle factor of how yeah. bad oh, it's yeah, going to yeah, tingle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, like, lying. What is the Yo, cherry, the cherry enzyme says it's a tingle factor of two. Right. Ain't no way. But <laughs> like, cut it. You can There's cut no it. way. You can cut it with the... Oxygen, the Glymet. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. Or the Golgi Berry mask yeah. is really good, too. Yeah, I have the Golgi Berry. So like if you're a new esthetician, like, if you get that oxygen mask, you pretty much can cocktail it with anything. Like so safe. It's amazing. Yeah. I use it at home. Yeah. I mean, and sometimes you can scrub. cut. Um, another quick tip for new essence: if you go with skin scrub, if the product is very strong, cut it with their face mask. The cut goji, it, yeah, cut it with the goji berry mask or the uh, or vanilla or the I vanilla one, really. one. You take the enzyme. You you do what seventy five percent enzyme and twenty five percent um mask, yes, and then yeah. you cut it with it for clients who are have more sensitive skin. You know what I've been doing recently? I've been mixing the oxygen mask with the um. The oxygen mask with the elderberry enzyme that you put me yeah. in. Yeah. Love it. And it's I also really mix the oxygen mask with the elderberry mask, whipped mask. I oh, love that mask. I ordered it. I ordered the mask. The they need to come out with a back bar. Uh, skin script, if you watch this, please, elderberry with the mask. They don't have no back more. Bar. It's out of stock. They had a back bar size? No, they had the mask and it was out oh, of stock. Because it's seasonal. Oh. <gasps> they need to keep that in rotation. That's it's probably done, like one of the best masks they made. Because yeah. the caramel, I, I love their caramel honey, whatever yeah. mask. That shit is bomb too, but it comes around seasonal. So when it comes. Uh, the season comes to where I'm buying three or four of them. Yeah, and put them in my back bar. It's really good. You know what I else I it. like to mix the oxygen with? Because you just got me thinking about oxygen. The freaking I recently started doing this with the enzyme from Face Reality. Oh, the the papaya the, enzyme. No, no, the um the, the hydrate hydrogen hydrogen enzyme mixed with the with oxygen. The yes. yeah, I love that. Oh, you know what I have been obsessed. doing? What you told me to do the hydrating treatment before the peel. Yeah. And, and I feel like, like it, does, yeah. it makes a difference because yeah. it's easy to get those extractions. Yeah. 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 And I feel like when I started doing that, that's when my results started. Tur the turnaround time was like, I, I did it on my nephew the other day because he had like his uh, senior pictures and he called me like the morning of it. He's like, I'm Krista. I cannot thank you enough. Oh, like, yeah, oh, I got to show y'all his picture before he go uh, do his senior pictures. Yeah. He's like, I'm Krista. My skin looks so good. I said, oh. yeah, man, you just got to keep it up. Like, yeah. and he was like, it looks so good for my senior pictures. I was like, how oh, it's like, <laughs> it's 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 like aunties are good for something. <laughs> for real. So as far as education, what do you feel Climate. like? Climate. <laughs> Climate. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm gonna say it. over and over. Just gonna sign up for Glymed. This point again. This is sponsored by Glymed. Surprise. No, no, it's not. I'm not sure. Manifesting, trying to get it in there. It's not sponsored by Glymed, but I will never stop shouting Glymed through the roof. Yeah, I love yeah. Glymed. Like even though we were talking about earlier, like who's our rep? I was like. I think my rep. I don't know. Oh yeah, well, glad man. We need a rep. Where's the rep? But we I see, bring Sandy back. Bring Sandy, Sandy back. Sandy, we Sandy want Sandy. Sandy. <laughs> we Sandy want. came up with that protocol. Like.
like microneedling with the five berry. Yes, like, when we, a layer on top. Yes. Me and Sandy came up with that Love protocol that. together, and she was like, I think this is going to be a good one. Let's submit it. And I was like, yeah, let's submit it. Like I was like, because it has to be a way that we can do a chemical pill and microneedling at the same time. And when I sent it to Marie, I was like, look what me and um, Sandy yes. just made together. I love it. Sandy was a really, really good rep, but that's nothing why I love Glide Med. Like, their reps are really, really good. Yeah. Their education is really, really good. Their free education is good. Their, Top tier. Even when you have their higher aesthetic courses, the ones that come around once a year, and they send you the products right. so, so you can Girl, go the it. little the little bundle oh, kit. And they give you a coupon at the end. It's like, it's a win-win. A win is a win. A win is a Glide win. Glide Med is really good. It's but. a little it's a little bit more expensive than Skin Script, but it's definitely worth the investment if you're going to take the time to educate yeah. yourself. At the minimum, they have, the bar. Yeah, yeah. they have the resources yeah, for I, sure. Their, their, their retail is very expensive. I, do, I will say that. Like, it's, it, it's absurd. Okay, oh, sorry. sorry. So as far as retail, what are you, uh, for Glide Med, right? Like, what do you kind of push on your clients? Like The for, serums. The serums, yeah. yeah. For me, I just really push. I should be obsessed with Diamond Bright. Oh, Diamond yeah. Bright had me in a choke. But they changed the formula. They but you know, to. I keep it's telling y'all what's slept on. I don't think it's the, the same either. The skin brightness serum. That's all I use. Like, the skin brightness serum from them. Yeah. I do like that new radiant serum that they just dropped. I do Mandela. love their Mandelic serum. I do love that. But push. I like that um, beta gel that they got, too. It's like it's Oh, so facial hydrator. I love yeah. it. Yeah. Well, yeah. it used to be called a facial hydrator. The is really good. But that skin brightness serum, if you have a client that's really experiencing hyperpigmentation, I agree. you got to push that 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 serum onto them. Like, and it's really not that expensive. expensive. I think it's like 50 bucks. Yeah. yeah I think it, retail. Yeah. 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 Retail is 50 But it's the thing is what makes it expensive. Like, okay, I want you to spend 50 on a serum. That's a lot. Mm -hmm. I want you to spend 75 on a good hydrator. I want you to spend 56 on SPF. I want you to spend, what? how much is the CBD mist? 80. 80 on CBD mist. And, like, now, I didn't even know and then I want you to spend 80. 52 on right cleanser. There. 52, 52, 80. A lot. <laughs> That's almost four hundred dollars. Yeah, yeah. On one line, like on just your basic, and not even exfoliator. Like Diamond Bright is like ninety dollars. Yeah. Well, I don't even push it anymore. I should just switch. Well, like I, I stop. I thought I don't know. I, for some reason, I feel like they do change. They did change the formula of Diamond Bright. I don't know. Because in the beginning, they they had me in yo, they used to get my hyperpigmentation cleared in four yeah. weeks. Like what they that promised. Diamond Bright in the beginning had me in the. Choke I feel like that must have some type of bleach and stuff in there or something. Well, they had the dermableaching like, fluid with hydroquinone, but you know hydroquinone, they pulled it off the shelf for like as for our fit. They should have been. It causes. Pigmentation. Yeah. Hello. So, but oh. We're... oh shit. Back to the, <laughs> the big C. The big C. Back to the big C. But yeah, hydroquinone is not something that you should use as anybody. I mean anybody, but especially if you're a Fitz four, five, or six. Yeah. So they pulled off the derma bleaching fluid off the shelves because they were getting so much backlash. Oh, yeah, I remember the derma bleaching fluid. By yeah. having hydroquinone, and it, and I like that. I like the fact that they they saw an issue, they recognized it, and they corrected it immediately. It, yeah. Like that's what I like about Glide Med. But they 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 include. People of color, they even have a manual. I can't tell y'all enough. Yeah, they do. Have they a have a manual just for yeah. people of color. Skin like, of color skin manual, of color skin manual. Color manual. Yeah, I love it. And it's like very in depth. Like you, you can. It's like this thick. It takes a lot. Yeah, yeah. like it even breaks down like your circadian rhythm and yeah. like what oh, happens. Sleep. You sleep. Yes, sleep when you're awake, when you should be taking regular bowel movements, all of that because all of that is gut health, health, is gut health, skin health, health and yeah. skin health. I think that. Glymed is the best place to start if you're watching. Um, and for retail, definitely skin script. Skin script. script. And, and, I, and I don't yeah. don't go with the with the mass of the people. Like don't pe don't think that you can't. Oh, because everybody it don't matter if everybody got it. It don't. This is what's going to get you results. It's yeah. gonna it's gonna spare your pockets and it's gonna edu it's just, you're gonna learn with yeah. using these products before you jump into bigger brands. Like we've been estheticians for three years. You a little longer, mm -hmm. yeah. Yet. And I'm just now getting into bigger companies. Chris yeah. is just now, and she's been in it way longer. Yeah. You know, she's just now getting into bigger companies. In the same but I thing think with Marie. True, I'm true to the game. Like yeah. if it works, if it's I feel if like it, we graduated. Yeah. We're still we still use some a lot of their stuff, especially Glamet. But we yeah. graduated, and I feel like, but we still we don't we don't forget. But I feel like that's a great place to start. Yeah. Like 100%. I don't use PCA. Once I no, find I, you get bored by Colgate, <laughs> you're done for me. Yeah. I don't give a damn That's who big. you are. Let's kind of hone in on that, right? Like, yeah, it's important to know who makes products, right? Because yeah. like Krista just said, PCA skincare is actually um, owned by Procter & Gamble now. What's it called? Um, distributed or whatever through yeah. Colgate. Uh, Burt's Bees is Clorox. Yeah. Um, Who else? There was another one that we used to talk about all the time. It was PCA. Um, who else? I know it was a company, 
Burt's Bees, it was Clorox. It, I'm gonna I'm remember. The only thing that I will say, excuse me, I'm sorry. <laughs> the only thing that I will say about when these bigger companies buy these brands, sometimes it's not because they want to change everything. A lot of times, like trying to get skincare on a global scale, it's really, really hard to get them into other countries. So like, for example, uh, Skin Better Science was bought by L'Oreal and everybody was like, what? Brand is going to shit. But all the formulations are the same. Everything's the same. But L'Oreal is global. They're in every right. country. Yeah. So now they use that relationship and partnership with L'Oreal to get their the, the brand in other countries. So Do you think that the quality of the product doesn't... It will change. Because Kylie you know, said, Kylie Jenner said her product, that's why she wants to buy her product back. She said that her product has changed when she well, sold I, it I to think, the higher people no, because I, they can't which which she was formulating with they feel like that's too much we're not we're here to make a profit we're all about profit margin but i think it depends so. on i think it depends on because they're still a part of it they just sold it to them but i think they they're still a part of it so i think it depends on one the integrity of your brain and who you are who yeah. the owner of it yes, is but it also and then like the policy like, like the majority vote no the, the contract that you put in place like if yeah. i was to sell anything that i own to some like say we was to sell this podcast right yeah and and we we but we still work and we were employed at the podcast we will put somewhere in writing like okay yes but you guys are the the machine behind us yeah but you don't tell these are our non-negotiables yeah. and i feel like so depending on the company i think um in this case with skin better science that's what they did that they had a whole live about it that's how i know um, but I feel like some people, maybe like the one you said with a PCA, maybe they didn't give a red ass or the other one. Uh, I think a lot of them eventually just don't give a red ass. Yeah, because they, they care about the like, You know, like who sold, um, what's that uh, feminine brand for women? And they sold it um, for our... Uh, oh, the Honey Pot? Honey, honey Pot, pot. yeah. Who the hell is Honey Pot? Honey, you ain't never it's organic. Pot. It's so, organic. Um, ain't pets. shit organic. So. Feminine products. <laughs> but, <laughs> no, but they were good, but they changed their form and my body reacted differently to it. Oh, wow. So it's like, I think that... Wait, where did you put Honey Pot in? It's, it's a wash. Yeah, feminine it's a feminine wash. wash. It has, it has like, like apple cider vinegar tampons. Well, why the fuck are you putting apple cider vinegar? Because it's, P, it, it's, 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 it's balanced. balanced. Yeah. Yeah. It's a soft I think it has, um, It's a soft cleansing up. Oh, <laughs> down there. Like, wait, just, no, it, it's a wash. So, like, instead of using, like, Dove or whatever people use, like, you're not supposed to really put no soap. That's what I'm saying. It's a soft cleansing oven. Why would you put something in that's a, that's a topic for another fucking episode. It's but, so cool. It's so Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. <laughs> You ain't like, never had their pads or their tampons. No. Like, they're supposed to be way safer. But I think that comes back to our last episode, right? Mm. Culturally, depending on who it is, right? Like, I'm thinking of, like, smaller companies. Like, I use Miel from her hair, right? Yeah. yeah. She sold her... That's somebody she that started... She sold it to Procter Gamble, yeah. too, right? right? So Right. So, she's someone that started out of her kitchen in her house, yeah. you know? And the products were amazing. Then she sold the company, and obviously the formulation changed. And mm. we're sitting here like, oh, I'm so disappointed. You know, finally, somebody of color comes out with a product, and then they sell it. But it's like, again, culturally, where we come from, we don't have a lot. Right. So am I going to sell my product and be set for me and my family for the rest of my life? Absolutely. Or, yeah. You know? So, so I, I don't, think yeah, about that, too. Yeah, I don't be mad at nobody for selling it. I just feel like... Just make, like stay true to why you started, so it's okay yeah. to sell. Like it's I'll hard sell. though when you think about like companies. And then it depends on how much that money is. It's, when you think about companies, and I learned like, a lot of this but, from integrity. Husband, but when you think about companies and how companies are structured. Is whenever you sit down at that board meeting, it's whoever has majority vote. We don't give a damn if you started. You sold your company to us. We have majority vote. So right. what we say is the final say. Yeah. And you can go cry. What you want to do? Cry about it? You ain't gonna cry That's about why it when you get that check. That's why before you sign that dotted line, yeah. you have to put it somewhere in the in the sale. Agreement. Agreement. Yeah. That things that are that you cannot be changed, which are non negotiable. And if they really want it, they'll buy it by it. And it's like this most most things that we buy, most retail, we we profit fifty percent. Fifty percent is a fucking very high. Yeah, percentage. but some people profit margins be eighty percent. That's what 70%. I'm saying. Like that's what that's I'm a saying. huge profit margin. You something costs you two dollars to make and you selling to consumers for hundred something, something dollars. Yeah. I think, I think that's And we depends. have to look at everything like that. Like, it's really crazy, the profit margins when it yeah, comes to skincare. Just, so when it comes to selling your stuff, just, I think, well, we, why are we even talking? Nobody even, we ain't selling shit. <laughs> we <laughs> selling somebody else shit. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> at this point, y'all, get your back bar, okay? Get your back bar, but get no, your this is crazy. Mat, get your skin script. No, Kristen, that's it. No, 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 no. Let me just say that, that's how our conversations normally go. Like, we just be sitting here talking about yeah. it, and then everything flows into business Yo, and skin so, script. Well, I completely forgot we were filming. <laughs> <laughs> Everything, Everything 
you're an SB basically and you're interested in starting your own skincare line, we are here for it. Yeah. We support it. Just make I sure that you have... I just a private label in yes. skincare. I think that's where this conversation was going. Yes. No, <laughs> this conversation was about that bar. It wasn't going nowhere. We was trying to close it out. But you know how some people jump in and they're like, oh, I want my own skincare line. I want yeah. a private label company. I just think that don't jump right into private labeling. I think companies. private labeling could be great. We were talking it, about it can be great because they do all the research and the science, and people that don't have the research. But it costs a but lot. Just dabble of dabble first. Dabble yeah, first. yeah. Try yeah. different things. See what you like, what you don't like, and then move into private. Yeah. Labeling. yeah. When it comes to a hydro jelly mask, you can probably like that from China. Yeah, and that's on that's on Mary and every little lamb she pushed out. I promise you, that's the SD only pushed out two lambs. <laughs> but um, with that being said, I hope you guys enjoy seeing some of our crazy personality yeah. today. I hope you enjoyed. The I think we just tired. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's been a morning. Thank you so much for supporting. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Drop some uh, comments in the in the Instagram so we can know what yes. how you guys are feeling about our podcast. Because today's question was something that we got a comment. Yeah, right? it was a comment today's about back bar. So this this episode was for you, whoever it was that said that you wanted to do back bar. Thank you so much for watching. You can sit with us. Goodbye, guys. Bye. Bye.